we were going over there and flying over all these different cities in Japan. That was really an awful experience. We were dropping these napalm gasoline gel bombs at 20,000, 21,000 feet because that's what the B-29 was designed to do. Those bombs had so much heat when they hit anything, they explode about 100 feet or 200 feet off the ground, and they go every direction, and anything they hit, it'll burn right through it. And the only trouble was the winds aloft over Japan are so strong, we'd drop our bombs, and the winds would blow them right out to sea. And we were bombing the heck out of the, all of those fish and so forth out in the sea, but we weren't hitting our targets. And so Curtis LeMay said, that's nonsense. We're not, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to go in at 5,000 feet. And we all said, you got to be kidding. My first mission was the first fire raid over Tokyo at 5,000 feet. What a scary way to start your tour of duty in the, in the Army Air Corps. It was very scary going through there because you know that every B-29 we have that's on the mission, is at the same altitude you are. You're in total darkness. You have no idea where they are. You're all on the same path. And I mean, we're, we've got hundreds of B-29s out there, but I don't know how everyone missed everyone else because you're strictly on that bomb run. And we go back to the next night or two nights later and do the same thing all over again. You know, when you're doing it, all you're thinking about is, I hope we can get through this and get back to the island. Uh, you're not really, it's not as if you're, you've got a gun and you're pointing at someone and shooting them. This is something that you're trained to do and you drop those bombs and you, you, don't, uh, you don't think about how terrible it is on the ground because it was terrible. And then afterwards you see the magazine, the Yank magazine come out and, and show us uh, some of the pictures and it's really awful really awful. But no one ever said war was good.